Hey guys, Matt and Nikki here. So, got a little fourth gen action on the dyno today. Got a WS6. So, another car that came to us with everything done. So again, unknown origin of stuff. We do know the cam is a Texas Speed. Um, it does have a, a true dual exhaust on it, which is kind of cool on an F body. I always like the way those sound on these cars. Obviously long tube headers. I'm not sure which brand long tube headers they are. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Stock intake manifold. This is a 2002. So 2002's had a little bit different intake manifold on them. Um, but yeah, otherwise you're looking at it. That's pretty much it other than the dual exhaust. So nothing too crazy. Um, the Texas Speed Cam, I actually got the card. Let me just bear with me here to grab it out of the car. So that's what's in it. So pretty healthy camshaft for a uh, for an LS1. I know that was a pretty, you know, that's been really popular is just camming the crap out of these LS1s and they do produce a good result when you cam them. And this thing, uh, I've done a couple pulls on it already, just kind of getting a baseline established. And it's, you know, it does make it a pretty good number for not having ported heads. So, so yeah. I'm trying to think what else I can say about it. I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty much what you see here under the hood is what it's got other than the dual exhaust. Um, I am doing a mass airflow tune, obviously. This is kind of a borderline deal where you could do a speed density tune. Um, obviously you have to do it, you know, I'm obviously using a blended blended method where I'm using a, the factory style calibration where the strategy where you're using MAP and MAP. Otherwise, sometimes you do a full SD tune, but this car is responding pretty well to keeping the mass airflow sensor turned on as far as what I'm seeing with fuel trims and stuff like that. So, well, that's a really nice car. It's got some does have some suspension bits in the back. Looks like it's got some BMR, like a, a uh, some control arms and a panhard bar and and uh, stuff like that. So, but yeah, nice car. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna set the camera down and do a little bit more tuning on it, and I'll get a uh, I'll get a final run here, and we'll take a look at the graph when I'm finished. just that's that's cam only so yeah that's pretty I'm pretty happy with that. that's pretty good you know without any head work or anything be over 400 wheel that's pretty nice especially this car has a 410 gear in it too so uh, usually those four tens read a little bit less than if you got stock gearing in it so that uh, that's looking pretty good right there it's peeking out nice nice curve um, yeah, it's you know, it's not too bad down here. Obviously, you get a cam that big. Again, that's a it's a it's a bigger Texas Speed cam. It's like a 233, 239, I think is what it is with a 112 or 113. Cards in the car, we can take a look at it. But it uh, it's still not doing too bad on torque. Obviously, you start getting into the into the 230s on duration on LS1, you start to really lose below 2500 and even you know below here. But it's it's still it's still coming up. 380 torque, that's pretty good. So. 
I am uh, I'm extremely happy with that. So get this thing out on the street, do some drivability with it, make sure it's running okay in traffic, because he was having a problem with that, with the idle hanging up, and somebody threw a bunch of threw a bunch of airflow at the, at the throttle cracker table, and and kind of had some of the idle settings kind of screwy on it. So it was doing weird stuff in traffic on them, you know, holding the 2,000 RPM and and yeah, whatnot. I got all that cleaned up, so it's not doing that anymore. So, so yeah, that'll hit. That'll uh, wrap it up for the dyno on this one and get it out, like I said, get it on the street, get it off the dyno here. So, so for now, this will be it on this one. Again, keep checking back. I'll have more stuff on the dyno here coming up. We got lots more down the, coming down the pipe here. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.